In this video, we are going to create our search functionality for the search bar that we have in our nav. So that is going to go out and query our recipes. So we'll go ahead into our header. First thing we want to do is give it a method. So our method is going to be a get request. We're then going to give it an action and we're going to call our recipes view. The next thing we need to do is we need to give our input a name. So when we actually want to extract the data from our input form on the back end, we will do that by targeting the name. So I am just going to call this Q for query. We'll go into our recipes view now. The package we're going to install this time comes from the Django DB models and it's called Q. So Q is a wrapper for SQL queries that allows us to write complex database operations but with less code and it, they're a lot more simplified. So we're going to go now and we're going to update our recipes. So this time we're going to override the query set. So we're going to do our get query set and we're going to pass in our self and any keyword arguments. So the first thing we then need to do is we need to actually get the query. So we need to get that input um, value. So we'll create a new variable and this is going to be the self.request.get for get method and then we're going to say get Q. So when anybody posts that form then, because we specified it's a get request, it's going to come into our get query set and we will have access to that variable. So we can then say if query, so if there was something in our query, then we want to filter our recipes. So we can say self.model dot objects dot filter okay so we're going to perform a filter because we're going to do multiple operations and we also want to only bring back those records that match so now we can use the queue and we open that up like a function so in here we want to maybe check if our title contains Okay, so if we say title I contains query, when somebody submits that, it will just go out and it will check whatever they input to the form, does this exist in the title? And if it does, it will return all of the results in which that's in the title. Now, because we've got quite a lot of fields, we want them to be able to search on different fields. So we can actually use our pipe character. So we're now saying or, and we can repeat. So I'm going to search the description field. For our query. I'm also going to search the instructions. And finally, I'm going to search the cuisine types. So there is other things that you can do with this. Obviously, you can check if something starts with or ends with. Um, I will drop a link into the README with some documentation in that. And I also came across a blog post recently. Um, I did ask for permission, so I'm going to share that because it does give quite a good explanation. It will be in the description of this video. So now that we've checked and we've done, okay, if somebody submits a GET request and they're looking for something, these are the objects that we're going to return. But now we need to handle what if there was no query? So when we first go to that page, because we're overriding our get query set, we actually need to specify what's going to load on that page when the page loads or if that was query was empty. So in here, we can now go ahead with our else statement. 
so we can now say the recipes then would be our self dot model dot objects dot all and the final step then is just to actually return those recipes so we'll go ahead and fire up our run server Now I have actually added um, quite a few recipes in just so that we can do this search. So if you do want to pause and put multiple recipes in just so that you can test the search functionality properly, then you can go ahead and do that. So in our search bar, I am going to attempt to search for something that I know is in the title and that just brings our one back so if we go in and search for something in the description we'll take out a keyword say garnished and search then that recipe should be returned now if we try and think of a word that could be common in everything so i can search for the word that and all recipes are returned now if we search and it's empty everything will be returned. So that concludes our search functionality.